Welcome to the Great Detectives of Old Time Radio from Boise, Idaho. This is your host, Adam Graham. If you have a comment, email it to me, box13 at greatdetectives.net. Follow us on Twitter at Radio Detectives and become one of our friends on Facebook, facebook.com slash Radio Detective. I do want to encourage you to, to pick up your copy of Slime Incorporated. It's my first ever detective novel. A modern story, but with golden age charm. It tells the story of private investigator Cole Eustick, who has to unravel a case of murder and dirty politics against the backdrop of the Idaho gubernatorial election. It is available as an audiobook, a paperback, or wherever fine ebooks are sold. That Slime Incorporated, also you can find it at store.greatdetectives.net. With all my books, audiobooks, and ebooks. Well, now it's time for today's episode of Boston Blackie. The original air date October the 15th of 1946, and this one is Hazel Henry's Rodeo Murder. <laughs> Having trouble with those boots, Hazel? Mm. Not too much. But don't you wish you were in my boots, Bill? We'll take that up some other time. But now I've got to finish dressing and get out in the arena I'm due to ride to. Be careful you don't get killed, won't you? But not too careful. You think if something happened to me, Slim will stay married to you, don't you? Well, think again. You can't hold him, Hazel. Nobody's going to say I didn't try. I wouldn't try anything where I was concerned. I've got a very good friend in town, Hazel. Boston Blackie. Ever hear of him? Sure. Well, he's here tonight. I sent him tickets. A friend of mine out west said to look up Blackie in case I ever got in trouble. I'm just playing it safe, asking him to come tonight. Better go on out and ride that Bronco. Hey, anybody decent in there? Everybody is, Barney. Wait a minute. Go on in and talk to Hazel, Barney. I'm due out at the arena. But don't get too close to her. Rattler's bite can be cured, but hers, uh-uh. Bye. So long, Bill. <laughs> Kind of a feud going on between you two gals, ain't there, Hazel? I wouldn't say that. I'd like people to think that, though. I always felt a rodeo ain't no place for feuds. You kind of all ought to be more like a family. Ever see a family without a feud? I never did. That ain't what I meant, exactly. The way the boys are saying, though, anything ever happened to Belle, you'd be blamed. I'd like that very much. Not the second part, of course, just the first I don't know, Hazel. I still... Hey, listen. Boy, that's Slim. It was his turn to ride when I came in, and that's the way the crowd always yells when he's riding. He's a good man on a horse, Barney. Yeah. Best, maybe. Hey, what's wrong with me? Nothing. If Slim wasn't around. <laughs> you know, I think that without Slim here, you might have a... Hey, careful. All right, boy. Hey. Careful. Bring her in. <clears throat> right down that cot over there. Okay, Doc. Uh, be careful now. All right. Hurt real bad. Shut that door. Easy. Hey. Hey, hey Doc. Hey, Doc, hey, Doc, what's happened? Happened to Belle, Doc. She's not moving. No, that's right. I don't know yet how bad she's hurt. <clears throat> All I know, she got thrown from that Bronco she was riding. Got thrown, got thrown bad. Belle. Poor Belle. Poor Belle. You're kidding, ain't you, Hazel? And now meet Dick Calmer as Boston Blackie. Enemy to those who make him an enemy. Friend to those who have no friend. This is the dressing room where they took that girl right, Mary. Come on, let's go on in. All right, anything you say, Blackie. Tell me one more thing, Doc. You hurt bad? Well, it's too early to tell, Barney. I have to wait till we get to the hospital. Yeah. Hey. Hey, bud, nobody's allowed in here. I know that, cowboy, except by invitation. I'm Boston Blackie. I understand Bell Adams wanted to see me. Oh, yeah. Hey, Doc, uh, this is the guy Bell keeps asking for. Oh, yeah, Boston Blackie. Didn't get here a minute too soon. Just about to take her to a hospital right here. Oh, this is it, Mary. Come on. Okay. Hey, uh, tell her Barney asked for her, will you? Doc? Yes, Barney, I'll tell her. Uh, uh, uh. Who's Barney? 
Her boyfriend, Doctor? Uh, one of them. Belle's the most popular girl in the road. Here. Is she badly hurt? It's hard to say this early. Had a nasty fall. Just regained consciousness a few minutes ago. Uh, Belle. Belle. Yeah. Boston Blackie's here. Hello, Miss Adams. You wanted to see me? Yeah, Blackie. Nevada Pete told me if I was ever in trouble to talk to you. Well, I'm in trouble. Terrible trouble. Oh, no, you're not. You'll be all right in a day or two. Well, you don't get it, Blackie. Hazel fixed it so I'd take that spill. Hazel wants to kill me. Hazel? Hazel who? Uh, she must mean Hazel Henry, another writer in the rodeo. Yeah, Hazel Henry. She tried to kill me. She did something to the horse I was riding. Look at the horse. Uh, I... I don't think she ought to talk anymore, Blackie. All right, Doctor. I'll look at that horse, Bell. Now, don't worry about anything. Come on, Mary. I'm right here. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye. Thanks for coming down, Black. I was glad to do it. Oh, uh, hey, uh, how is she, Blackie? How is she? She's hurt all right, Barney, but it may not be too serious. Which way is it to the place where they keep the horses? Why, well, you, you turn to your right and you keep on going straight. You can't miss it. Thanks. Oh, wait a minute, Blackie. I almost forgot my hat. Oh, sorry, Mary. The corral is down this way. Okay, I got it. Oh, sure. I can even hear it. Blackie, what did Belle mean when she said Hazel Henry did something to her horse so she'd be hurt? She meant Hazel did something to make the horse buck harder than normally, I guess. We'll find out in a minute. Here's the corral. Big place, isn't it? How are we going to find that horse that Belle rode? Well, we could spend all afternoon looking for it, or we could ask that cowboy spinning and throwing that rope over there. Oh, oh, maybe he'll teach me how to use a lasso. You know, I've always but wanted to be now, able to... But not now, Mary. Not oh. now. So you with the rope. Yeah. Uh, say, uh, where's the horse that Belle Adams was riding when she was thrown? Right over there in that stall, mister. She's a wild one. Don't go near her. Don't worry. I won't. Say, they've taken the saddle and bridle off her. Was everything all right? Funny you should ask that, stranger. Why? Funny the way you make that rope spin, too, cowboy. Listen, could you... Later, to... Mary. Look, later, uh... please. Uh... Why is it funny, I asked you, cowboy? Because the handlers found a burr under that Bronco saddle. That's what made her toss Belle the way she did. There was a burr under the saddle, huh? Blackie, then Belle was right. Hazel Henry did try to hurt her. Looks that way, Mary. I don't know if it was Hazel who put that burr there or not, but if it was, mister, it wasn't put there to hurt Belle. What makes you say that? Because the horse that Belle rode was supposed to be ridden by Slim Waters, but he didn't show up on time. Oh, I see. Funny thing, too, Mr. Slim Waters ain't never been late for a rodeo contest before in his life. All right, Slim. So somebody tried to fix you by putting that burr under the saddle of your horse. But you didn't ride it. So what am I supposed to do about it? Do what I sent you for, Inspector Faraday. Arrest Hazel Henry. She's the one who done it. How do you know? Because I'm married to her. But I want to leave her and marry Belle Adams. And Hazel swore she'd kill either me or Belle before she'd give me a divorce. Okay, okay, but that's all just talk, Slim. Give me some proof. I gotta have proof before I can do anything about it. On the first place... If that's Hazel, I want her arrested, Constable. Constable? I'll constable... Come in. Slim Waters? Yeah? Blackie, what are you doing here? Well, hello, Faraday. What are you doing here? Has somebody been murdered? No, but with you around, somebody probably will be. Slim, this is Boston Blackie. Hiya, Slim. Hi. What's Faraday got you on the carpet for? He ain't got me on the carpet. I sent for him. I want my wife Hazel arrested for trying to kill me. And getting Belle Adams by mistake. I ain't sure. Maybe she was trying to kill Belle and not me. I was late for the contest because my watch was slow, and it ain't never been slow before. What's that got to do with Hazel trying to kill Belle Adams? Well, I let Hazel use my watch this morning. She might have set it back just so I would be late. Or you might have set it back yourself, Slim. Huh? What do you mean by that? Nothing, except you could put a burr under the saddle of your horse if you knew you weren't going to ride. I don't like oh, that. I'm getting out of here. What am I doing here anyhow? Nobody's done anything. Nobody's dead. Nobody's even hurt bad, as far as we know. Now I'm going home. Wait a minute, Inspector. Ain't you going to arrest Hazel? What for? So you can get rid of her that way? And I swear she's trying to kill me. Or kill Belle. Okay, okay. I'll go have a talk with her. Thank you. And tell her to stay away from me. Uh, I'll tell her something. So long, Faraday. Goodbye. Come on, Slim. Now, you suppose you tell me the truth. Maybe you'd better go where that cop just went. Out the door. Look, you'd like me to prove Hazel tried to kill you or Belle Adams, wouldn't you? I want help like that. I'll get it from the police. Now, now, beat it. All right. 
But I still think you could have put that bar under the saddle of that Bronco and were purposely late so Miss Adams would ride it. Oh, you do, huh? Yes. Would be an easy way to get rid of your girl and your wife. I think I'll give that some thought, Slim. So long. Maybe you'd better give a couple of other things some thought, too, fella. Maybe you'd better think about keeping your nose out of my affair. Oh, I don't know why you'd say a thing like that. Wow. This knife sticking in the wall could be sticking into me if I were a foot taller. Yeah, sure could. Do you grin every time you miss somebody with a knife, Slim? Maybe. Well, this just about clinches what I think about you, Slim. Then you'd better do some more thinking, you. Hey, who are you? Hazel, where'd you come from? Down the hall, Slim. What's this guy trying to do to you? Nothing. It's any of your business. No? But don't seem to be his business, either. And don't go accusing Slim of throwing that knife at you, mister, because I threw it. You're Hazel Henry, huh? You threw it. Yeah. Why? Just a little warning to you, mister, that I don't like nobody accusing Slim of trying to kill nobody. Hey, Faraday! Faraday! Hey, what are you doing in your car, Blackie? Trying to find out who fixed up that Adams girl? Too much for you? No, I've got to get back because I have a dinner engagement with Mary. Well, where is she? Oh, she went home about half an hour ago. Some cowboy gave her a rope and she went home to practice throwing it. Yeah, I'll bet. Well, that's probably what she's doing instead of getting dressed for dinner right now. Which is what she went home to do. Uh, Hop in, I'll drive you downtown. I'm not going downtown. I'm going home. Okay, hop in, I'll take you home. We can stop by Mary's first. All right. I want to talk to you anyway. What about? This business at the rodeo. Keep your nose out of it, Blanky. Nobody's done anything serious yet. But with you messing around, there's no telling what'll happen. No one's done anything serious yet, huh? Well, Belle Adams is lucky she didn't have her neck broken, and I'm just one foot short of being dead with a knife in the back of my head. What? Yes, and guess who threw it at me? A pleasant little girl named Hazel Henry. So that's why I couldn't find her. She was throwing knives at you. Yes, Faraday, and if you're smart, you'll find some way to lock her up. She's dangerous. I wouldn't be surprised if you had a homicide on your hands before long. So you think maybe Hazel Henry is the one we want, huh? Yes, and I think you've got an assault charge against her, and you'd better use it before you have to grab her on a murder rap. You know, I think you're out of your mind, Blackie. Well, if Hazel Henry makes trouble, you're out of luck. Turn on the radio, will you? I want to hear the news. Sure. It's a better way to kill time than listening to you. Uh, when am I going to hear over the radio that you've left town, Blackie? When radio is such an obsolete instrument, people won't even remember what it was. About uh, the year uh, 10,000. Here's a last-minute report just handed to me. There's more than the excitement of thrills and spills at the rodeo over at the Coliseum. Murder has struck the gaily event. Murder, Champion he says. rodeo rider uh-huh. Hazel Henry was found shot to death in the corral under the stand. The body was found within Hazel the last Henry ten shot. minutes. Turn that off, Barry. You bet I will. And you turn this car around. I was going to have trouble because of Hazel Henry, was I? <laughs> you sure were, and you sure are. And Faraday, now you don't have to worry about killing time. Just concentrate on who killed Hazel. <laughs> And now, back to Boston Blackie. A girl rodeo rider, Belle Adams, is badly injured when thrown from a bucking bronco. A burr is found under the bronco's saddle, and Belle accuses Hazel Henry of putting it there. To complicate matters, Belle is thrown while riding Slim Waters' horse. And it seems that Hazel was trying to injure Slim, who, while he's her husband, wants his freedom in order to marry Belle. But just when Blackie is building a case against Hazel, she's murdered. As we return to our story, Blackie, his friend Mary, and Inspector Faraday are at the rodeo, scene of the crime. So she was shot, was she, Faraday? Well, she has a bullet in her, Blackie. Even you should be able to tell she was shot. Uh, I wish the coroner would get here so I can go home. It's raining out, Faraday, and the streets are slippery. You want the coroner to get here alive, don't you? Yeah, I've had enough trouble for one day. Hey, Miss Wesley, what are you doing over there? Waiting for you and Blackie to decide who killed poor Hazel Henry and also trying to learn how to throw this rope. 
Now, I wonder what I'm doing wrong. Mary, put that rope away. Or you'll end up in knots yourself. Well, all right, but you two hurry up and find out who killed Hazel. Now, come on, come on, hurry up, or I'll do it myself. You'll do it yourself, huh? Well, somebody better find it. You never will. Well, that somebody won't be you, genius. Uh, you don't have any idea who killed her, do you, Blackie? No. No, I don't. Well, in that case, I say it was Slim Waters, her husband. He was afraid of her, and he'll probably claim he killed her in self-defense. You think Slim killed her, huh? Then I don't. Well, then maybe it was Barney. Barney? Who's he? Oh, Blackie, I remember him. He was the cowboy in the dressing room who kept asking if Belle Adams was all right. Oh, yes. But how does he fit into this? I don't know. I'm only guessing. But maybe Barney was in love with the Adams girl, and he was trying to get rid of Slim. So he kills Hazel, Slim's wife. Now, that makes a lot of sense. I'm not talking about killing Hazel. I'm talking about that burr under the saddle of Slim's horse. I think Barney put it there. Barney and Slim are the top riders in the rodeo, you know. So you think if Barney didn't do it for the love of Belle, Adams, well, did it for the love of prize money, huh? Well, it could be. Could be. Don't prove murders, Faraday. I know that. Well, I know one person who didn't kill Miss Henry. Who? Belle Adams. She's in the hospital. Do you think so? I know so. Wasn't she hurt? Yes, but she's still alive, Faraday, and the fact that you think she's still in the hospital gives me a pretty good idea that she isn't. Oh, Blackie, you don't suspect Miss Adams, do you? I suspect everybody, Mary. That's why I solve cases when Faraday doesn't. My hunch is getting stronger every minute. I don't think Miss Adams is in the hospital. Well, I say she is. Well, I'm going up and prove she isn't. Uh, do I have to go all the way up to the hospital with you in all this rain? No, Mary, you stay here till I get back. And stop trying to throw that rope. Oh, golly, it didn't work that time either, did it? Now what did I do wrong? Never mind what you did wrong with the rope. I've got to find out who did wrong by Hazel Henry. <laughs> Look, nurse, there's something funny going on here, and I intend to find out what it is. I'm very sorry, Blackie. Miss Adams is very ill. No visitors are allowed in her room. And I think I know why, too. She's not in her room. I'm very sorry, but you can't Look, go I in Look, I don't know there. what you're trying to pull, but you've convinced me. I'm going into this room, and I'll guarantee it's empty. Yo, what is it? Oh, hello, Miss Adams. So you really are in the hospital, huh? Oh, Black Smith. Yeah, of course I'm here. I've heard about the awful thing that happened to Hazel. You found out anything? Yes, I just found out something. I found out what a fool idea I had. <laughs> Hello, Belle. Oh, Slim, Don, come in. Oh, what a surprise. I thought it was Blackie coming back again. Blackie was here? What for? I don't know. It didn't say. I don't like that guy. Don't like the way he snoops around. Oh, he's all right. Let's don't talk about him. Ah, let's not. How you feel? No better. Doctor says there's no broken bones. Guess I was lucky. Yeah, you sure were, honey. You could have been killed. Yeah. Look, you feel good enough to ride in the rodeo tonight? Oh, I could ride with my head cut off. Swell, honey. And you're going to get out of this hospital and ride. Huh? We need you down there. Oh. You're the best girl rider we got. Oh, now that... Well, now that Hazel's gone. You always were better than Hazel. Never. <laughs> Guess it sounds sort of low for me to talk that way on account I was married to her, but... You know, I ain't going to shed any tears over her. No, I don't suppose anybody is. But I certainly never wanted to kill. Me neither. But, well, it's happened... We are rid of her, like we wanted. And look, you can ride tonight, huh? Yeah, you bet I can, Slim. We make enough in prize money between us to buy ourselves a ranch. I thought you'd say that, Belle, baby. You're an all right... Hey, are you expecting company? No, go see who it is, will you, Slim? Sure. Slim, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing, Barney. Oh, Barney, come on in. Thanks, Belle. How you feeling? A lot better. Seeing this here good-for-nothing cowpoke ain't gonna do you no good, honey. Now get your good wishing over with, Barney, and get out of here. Belle's gonna ride tonight. Huh? Hey, why, well, you can't do that, Belle. You got hurt last night. You still ain't... It ain't none of your business what she does, Barney. I suppose it's some of yours. I'm the one she's gonna marry, ain't I? Yeah, but I'm looking out for her better than you. She ain't fit to ride tonight, and you... You know... let her decide about that. I say she rides. Well, that's sure letting her decide. You stay out of this, Barney. You don't want her to ride because you know me and her will take a pack of that prize money away from you. I'm just worrying about her, not the money. Since when did you ever care about boy, anything? Boy, boy, but... now stop it, both of you. Thanks for your interest in me, Barney. I appreciate it, but I'm going to do what Tim says. 
You're a fool, Bill. That's you... enough out of you, Barney. You won't be fit to ride tonight yourself. Now, come on, we're getting out of here, the both of us. Okay, but Get Bill, dressed, do... Bill, and be down to the rodeo in plenty of time. Because you're going to ride tonight, we're going to give them a show they'll never forget. <laughs> Contestant in the trick riding division. Next event, the finals featuring the riding pool, Slim and Barney. And once again, the pride of Arizona, Bell Adam, who despite her injuries of last night, comes back to perform for us again tonight. The event will take place in exactly three minutes. Well, looks like we're on in a couple of minutes, Slim. Yeah, Bell. We're going to take the first two prizes, too. Oh, yeah? You'll have to beat me, both of you. We'll beat you, Barney, both of you. Yeah, you won't even finish in the money if I... Hey, look who's coming. Hmm? It's Boston Blackie, that policeman fire day, and that Miss Wesley dame. I wonder if anything's wrong. We're usually called out to the arena before the start of the contest. We haven't been called out yet. Hello, Blackie. Hello, Mrs. Adams. You know Inspector Faraday and Miss Wesley, don't you? Oh, uh, yeah, more or less. Um, Bell, you think you know me well enough to teach me how to spin this rope? Uh, after the show tonight, Miss Wesley. Oh, good, thanks. I can't seem to find out what I'm doing wrong. Uh, never mind about that rope, Miss Wesley. Come on, Blackie, tell these two guys what you have to tell them and get it over with. We can't hold up the whole show. All right, Faraday. Listen, Slim, and you too, Bonnie. I know a little bit about who killed Hazel. How much? This much. That she was killed by either you or Slim. I didn't kill her. And I didn't kill her. I don't expect either of you to confess. But I've got a plan I want to tell you about. I know which one of you killed Hazel. And I think that whoever killed Hazel also put the burr under the saddle of the horse that threw Miss Adams in. It wasn't Slim, Blackie. I just know it wasn't. Oh, trying to say it was me, huh, Bill? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Nobody has to say anything because I've already done something that's going to make the killer confess. What, Blanky? You two are riding out together in the trick riding contest in a moment. So I've arranged to put a burr under the saddle of the horse to be ridden by the one who killed Hazel. You did what? Nice little touch, don't you think? I can't kill the guilty man for killing Hazel, but I can give him a dose of the same punishment he gave Bell. Pleasant thought, huh? I'm not going to ride any horse with a burr under the saddle. And I'm not either. That's a good way to get busted in, too. Yes, I know. But if you didn't kill Hazel, you don't have to worry about a burr under the saddle. Come on, your horses are waiting to be ridden out into the arena. Over this way. How about that? You don't have to worry about anything, Slim. I don't, huh, Bell? Well, this guy, Blackie, can make a mistake, can't he? But I didn't make a mistake this time, Slim. I know who killed Hazel. And the burr is only under his saddle. Well, here are your horses. Look, Blackie. Oh, shut oh, darn you? me. I almost got the rope around that pole. I almost did it. Watch out. But I, I don't know why I can't do it. What did I do wrong? Listen, we'll worry about the rope later. Hey, where's Faraday? Uh, I'm over here. Where did you think? I want to be out of the way of those horses. Good idea. I guess we'd all better get back. All right, Slim, you too, Bonnie. Get on those horses. Okay, I'm getting up in the saddle. Go ahead, honey. You even bothering to get on, Barney? Of course I am. Right now. Well, so am I. Well, nothing's happened to me. Me either. Okay, let them go, boys. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, guys. Oh, man, they're mighty pretty. They're all Hey, Blackie, out. what's going on here? Nothing happened to either one of those riders. Yes, I just what? noticed that. What do you mean? You just noticed it. I bet you didn't put a burr under either of those saddles. No, I didn't, Faraday. I thought just telling those two I had done it would do the trick, and it did. What do you mean, it did? What's it done? It's told me who killed Hazel Henry. Oh. What? Why? Well, both Slim and Barney were convinced there was a burr under the saddle of the man who killed Hazel. Isn't that right? Well, they seem to be. Uh-huh. They were all right, Faraday. I could tell by the way they climbed into their saddles. But they did get into them. And why would they dare? Well, because they knew whoever got down would be accused of killing Miss Henry. Yeah. That's right. But they also knew that the burr was under the saddle of only the one I thought killed Hazel. So each one felt safe in getting into the saddle. Hey, that's right. Because Slim knew he didn't do it, and Barney knew he didn't do it. So what we proved is... Hey, what have we proved? That our pleasant little killer is sweet and pretty Belle Adams, right here. What? I killed Hazel? Yes, Belle. You killed Hazel. You left the hospital to do it, and you bribed your nurse not to say you left the hospital, but it didn't work. she told you that, she's lying. She didn't have to tell me. I knew you'd gone out when I went up to the hospital to see you. It was raining out, remember? So? 
so the soles of your shoes were wet. So this girl killed Hazel and tried to kill Slim by putting that burr under his saddle yesterday at the rodeo. Oh, no, I didn't. Hazel did that out of spite. But he wanted to leave her and marry me. I made her admit that before I killed her. You won't get me for that. And you won't get me for killing Hazel either. Now, don't move either one of you. Blackie, she's got a gun. I know a gun when I see it, Faraday. Then you know what I'll do with it if you make a move to come after me, Blackie. Mary, drop that rope. Get out of her way. She means business. Look, Blackie, I can spin the rope and I can throw it like this. Ah! Grab her, Faraday. Get that rope oh, off of me. Rope around her arms. Drop that Let gun, sister. Let go of me. Let go. Drop it. All right. Uh. Let me out of here. And the rope is off now, Bill. Is that better, too? Oh, you know. Get her out of here, Faraday. You bet I will. Don't Come on, sister. Take your hands off of me. Come on. Mary Gal, I'm right proud of you. I am right proud of you. Why, I was waiting for you to say that. You know, I caught her with that rope, didn't I? And it whirled, Blackie. And I roped her with a lasso just the way a cowboy ropes a steer. And, you know, all the time I was practicing, I wondered what I did wrong. Well? Well, this time, I wonder what I did right. This is Andrew from otrwesterns.com. I wanted to invite you to come take a look at our site where we put out podcasts of old-time radio westerns. Check us out at otrwesterns.com. You're listening to The Great Detectives of Old-Time Radio with Adam Graham. Now let's get back into the show. Welcome back. The, uh, uh, the idea of a rodeo with Boston Blackie could be a 
challenge for some to get their mind around. Because uh, Boston Blackie is a show recorded in New York City, and while city name may not be specifically given in the series, it's pretty clear that it's referring to New York. And you have New York City and you have Rodeo. Two concepts that you think uh, don't really have a lot to do with each other. Well, during the golden age of radio, they did. Madison Square Garden actually hosted a very big uh, rodeo. In fact, there's a picture with uh, Mayor LaGuardia sitting next to the Sons of the Pioneers. And Nero Wolf solved a case that actually occurred at one of these rodeos in a short story that was published in 1960. And even though the actual rodeo isn't uh, in Madison Square Garden anymore, it is still a big, a major event on the professional bull riders tour. Now, I also have to say that Blackie's method of... Proving the killer's identity and eliminating the two men was kind of weak. As one of them said, it was possible Blackie might have made a mistake, which was reason to be nervous. And it was also reason to not be nervous. If you're a uh, audacious killer, you may very well think that Boston Blackie didn't find you out, so the burr will definitely not be under your saddle. Really, it was somewhat pointless when the main point was that Blackie had seen who's being uh, wet. But I do love Mary this episode. It's just very different. Uh, she must have a special uh, place in her heart for the rodeo, because as soon as she, you know, sees someone who can give her a hint on the road trip, she's just off, doesn't really care about this murder investigation at all, until it finally comes through as a way to catch the killer, with Mary saving the day. So I love that little twist. All right, well, that will do it for now. Join us back here tomorrow for Yours Truly, Johnny Dollar. And uh, next Thursday, it's another episode of Boston Blackie. In the meantime, send your comments to box13 at greatdetectives.net. Follow us on Twitter at Radio Detectives and become one of our friends on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Radio Detectives. From Boise, Idaho, this is your host, Adam Graham, signing off.